dun 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 Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here with Jacob the Carpetbagger. Day number 10 of our Route 66 adventure. Coming to you from the starting point of Devil's Elbow Bridge, Missouri. Join me. Shall you? At the base of this tree is a folk art installation by the name of Trail of Tears. And off to the left of your screen is a statue, a self-portrait of the former owner who passed away a few years ago by the name of Larry Baggett. Sign states no trespassing. I will abide by the rules. Even though technically this place was abandoned for a long time, it's currently under renovation to reopen. On site is a wishing well, some very beautiful, ornate rock work. It'd be interesting to stop back by in the future when it reopens. Maybe one day I'll see you again. His whole body is plaster, except his feet. The boots are real. But for now, gotta be moving on. Take a look at this guy. He's waving. An amazing piece of roadside signage. He even has a pipe in his mouth. His arms used to spin around rapidly, but it's no longer working. Nonetheless, he's very patriotic. Got the American flag embedded in his hand. Never in my life did I think I would ever be visiting a vacuum cleaner museum. A lot of these do look like the traditional style, but then some of them are very futuristic for the time period. The Electrolux. This one down here resembles like a crock pot on wheels. Check out that old blender. I am a vacuum. I, I am a... It looks like a robot, doesn't it? Eight track cassette and shag carpeting could only mean one thing the 1970s and this is what they were utilizing in that era the 1930s if you were to have one of these current day you could almost put it together with your steampunk costume it would you could clean your house as a steampunk thanks for getting sucked in oh you're welcome you're welcome Right around the corner should be. Oh yes, it does exist. The massive rocking chair of 66. Just to give a little perspective, I'm six foot three. See me? Almost like an oasis. A virtual oasis of classic signage. Wait for it. Be patient. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes. Bob's Gasoline Alley. A treasure trove of roadside relics and donkeys. How are you guys doing? You scratching? You scratching your head? A not so hidden Mickey and Pluto over there. Is this usable? Let's see what's inside. Huh. Oh my gosh. You scared the crap out of me. When at driving, you're tense. When at driving, you're, you're tit. Huh? Do you understand that? some problems with that sentence. Well, President Nixon, it's been fun, but gotta hit the old trail. See you next time. It's been, what? The, wait a second. Is he pooting? Approaching what looks to be, I guess that's a roadside attraction. Some teepees here. Yeah, some teepees. Like a little, little bat. Oh no, fiction on the inside. So. What's that? Yeah, like... Yeah. 
very strict no filming policy indoors. They did allow some pictures from outside, but once we set foot inside the gift shop, no cameras allowed. Huge chunks of rocks to the left, parked train to the right, and some grain silos straight ahead. That's it! The St. Louis Gateway Arch. Gonna cross something off my bucket list today. I'm about to go up inside that. Ever since I was a kid, I wondered what it would be like to go up way up there inside this iconic structure. It is happening. Oh man, that's up there. And you have to go underground before you can get on the elevator to take you to all the way to the tip top. How tall is the Gateway Arch? Say B. All right, we got a C, we got a B, we got a D, I believe. Okay, we got a B, all right, we got a B, let's find out. The answer is D, 630 feet. We are basically two full stories under the surface of the earth. We have to wait for we have to wait for everyone else to exit and then we're going to make way into our pod. Going in. We're going in. Ow. Can you fit? I can do it. I'm in. I'm in. Our doors are closing. Very tight squeeze. Tour guide. To There's the no turning back. No. There's no oh, turning. Oh, we're, we're moving. We're moving. It might be hard to gauge it from the video, but this thing is shifting to and fro. And down here are the old stairs before they had the elevator system. You just have to walk up to the top. This is quite, quite an experience. What the heck? Whatever you do, don't look down. We're rapidly increasing speed. We're going slow at first, but now we're like, we're really moving, kicking it into high gear as we go up. We're not going straight up, we're going like up and then kind of at an angle. It's kind of an awkward sensation. A normal elevator goes completely 90 degree angle straight up. This is going like kind of perpendicular in a way. something out of the twilight zone, <laughs> I swear. Look at like this thing is like this little pod. It's like we're in a space pod. A shiftable, you doing all right? I'm doing great. Just shifting to and fro. It doesn't stay level. It just kind of like, I can't, I don't even know how to describe. Feel that? Yes. It's like being on the end of a gimbal. Yeah. Oh. We've stopped. Uh, We've stopped. Whoa, whoa, it shifted. It shifted. Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Oh, there we go. Oh, we're again. Welcome to the top of the Gateway Arch, everyone. Please watch your step as you exit the tram cars and head up the stairs. They are unevenly spaced. When you get to the top, please continue past the first four windows so that everyone else has an easy time heading up the stairs as well. Oh my gosh, we made it. We made it. We made it. Let's take a peek. Pretty much see Let's take... Seat. Yeah, you totally can. Look at this. You can see everything from up here. The thing that's slightly terrifying is I'm standing pretty much on a stable platform, but you lean over, you're actually dangling over the edge to get a bird's eye view. Oh, like I can, my stomach is like, oh, that's scary. 630 feet above the ground. Oh man. I'm just noticing there is a step up. So you put a, a foot here, you put another foot here, and that gives you the angle to basically look down. And if you really pay attention, you can see the pillar. Look, that's how far I'm hanging over. That's the, that's the archway itself. I'm standing in the archway, but I'm looking at the archway. This is a... Uh, Kind of scary. Moseying back down to our station, they told us to wait at number eight, which is at the very bottom. We'll take the elevator back down, or as I am now going to refer to it as 
The Wonka Vader. I knew I shouldn't have drank that fizzy lifting drink. Grandpa Joe, help me, Grandpa Joe. There is no place I know to compare with your imagination. You gonna help me sing? If you want to take a view of paradise. Okay, just simply look around. That's enough. And view it. I should also mention there's no air conditioning in this pod. It's just slightly, just a little bit on the toasty side. Open, whoo, air. Oh heck yeah, I did it. I stood right up there. Just to give some perspective, the Washington Monument is 555 feet tall. Mount Rushmore, 465 and towering above them is the arch. It's big. It even has its own root beer. Nice. Or take home a miniaturized version. I don't think it has the same, the same effect, however. That's, yeah, it's not, not as impressive. As I think about what I've done outdoors, looking upward, you can barely see, barely, you have to have a keen eye to see the windows that I was perching out of. Oh man, that was an experience. One I'm very glad to have done. That's gonna do it for today. If you have not subscribed, please do so now. It helps keep you in the loop of the future of new videos and what's going to happen later on on this channel. If you would like to get yourself an Adam the Woo t-shirt, you can do so by checking the links down below. And also in the description box, I have been putting links to every vlog from this Route 66 trip. So if you have missed something, you can go back and watch them simply by checking down below. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.